what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i am back here with another video let's go ahead and jump right into it i'm gonna go ahead and roll the astrology dice and um, figure out which zodiac sign we will be doing today I'm going to bring this up a little bit closer so you guys can see it. Let's see who we got. Aries, Gemini, um, Capricorn. Okay. Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aries, yay, this reading is for my Aries, so we got two more right here, as you can see, can y'all see that, alright, so anyway, we're going to do, this is going to be an Aries tarot reading, so we're going to jump straight into it, Aries, what's up, Aries, what's going on? My Aries, my Aries, my Aries, my Aries. So, I got this cover on y'all because I'm cold. Okay. Alright, let's get into it. For my Aries. I'm going to go ahead and burn some sage to release any rage or any negative entities or energy that could be lingering around. Aries, let's get into it. I know y'all been waiting patiently for y'all reading. Let's get into it. Your angels, three guys, any messages that you would like for me to deliver to my Aries, the Emperor, and your energy, Aries. Wow, look at you standing strong, the Emperor. Wow, the strongest one in the deck, the Ten of Wands. Okay, so Aries, you could be tired of holding on to a lot of burdens. You are ready to release some things put some things down you're very you're tired of and you have the nine of one the nine of wands so yes i see you have been enlightened in regards to a situation aries aries you recently um y'all know we're about to go into aries season so aries you could just be about to be in your power and standing your ground with this emperor energy. You could be tired of holding on to so much stuff from the past that's weighing you down. You are so ready to put things behind you. You are tired of being defensive. You no longer resonate with certain low vibrational energies. You know what you want. You love yourself. You're standing in your power. And you've been enlightened. For It could have been some time where you were seeing things upside down. Or maybe not from a clear point of view. But um... You've been enlightened in regards to a situation, and we're going to clarify what that situation is. It was something that you were trapped in mentally. You could have felt stabbed in your back in regards to a situation. There's somebody that's wanting to rush into you. Said, um, I was about to say Sagittarius. It could be a Sagittarius that Sagittarius that does want to rush into that wants to um the yeah Sagittarius wants to rush into you. Like, like, rush into your world, your life. 
Um, Sagittarius is rushing towards you. With the Six of Swords here, I do see you um, picking, picking, picking up and moving to calmer waters, like coming out of this mental imprisonment, feeling trapped, you know. Um, yeah, Spirit is casting judgment. And then you have the full card, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... What I'm seeing here, um, Aries, is you're ready to move forward and move to calmer waters. You're tired of holding on to things that no longer serve you, things that have brung, brung you down, broke you down, things from the past, things that have hurt you, things that you may have even done to people. You are no longer wanting to be in that energy. You're ready to move forward, but you don't mind whooping a bitch ass. Let me, let's, let, let's, let's, let's make that clear here. Like, I'm wounded, but I'm a warrior. I'm tried out, but don't try me. Okay? Like, come correct, but don't come at all because I ain't really the one. Um, I do sp I do see spirit casting a judgment on everything that has happened in your life. God sits high and looks low. You have spirit angels and spirit guides who are protecting you, and they see everything that's going on. They see the things that people have done to you. They seen the darkness in them. Trust me, you don't got to go to these people and tell these people what they did and why you're not talking to them or what's the case may be anymore. It's it's said and done. You don't owe nobody no explanation. It's over. They know they manipulated you. They know they, they was um trying to one-up you, use you, get something out of you, whether it was sexual, tangible, but... Spirit saw what these people were doing to you, projecting on you, making you feel less than, making you feel like you got to switch this or switch that about yourself. For some of you guys, it could be bodily changes. I see you taking a leap of faith, though, moving forward, um, just to be by yourself, just to be happy, to be single, to feel young again, to travel. For some of you guys, you have a dog. Your dog is like your best friend. That's your dog. <laughs> like, that's your friend. Um... With this Queen of Swords energy, I definitely see you not taking no more bullshit. You letting people have it. Like, you're giving. You, you letting people know, like, listen, don't come up here with that bullshit. If you, ain't, if you ain't coming correct, don't come at all. If you ain't coming with the truth, honesty, and nothing but that and high vibrations, then you can get the hell on. Your spirit angels, spirit guys are surrounding you right now, Aries. So, you may be feeling alone. You're not alone. Um, there is a situation that you did invest in that you do not feel like you got anything out of it. And let me be the one to tell you, nothing is wasted. You may not see the fruits of your labor right now, but you will. It is harvesting season. Harvesting season. Harvesting season. You will reap what you sow. Okay, you will get your investments back. But the spirit is telling me to tell you, stop looking at what you invested in a situation. Okay. Don't focus on what you invested. Focus on moving forward and what you what you got enlightened with in regards to this investment and investing in the situation. Okay, because you focusing on how much you invested in it is causing you to be in this eight of swords energy. All right, I just had to explain that. Okay, now we're about to clarify this emperor energy that you are in. Let me turn this around because I'm shuffling it wrong. These cards are so hard. These cards are so hard. Aries, are you being difficult or or no? See, look, the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay, so there's a need for you to stop pouting. Okay, stop feeling like all is lost, like you didn't really gain anything out of this situation. All you need to do is sit in your power and wait for your ships to come in. What you want is coming, okay? We got the eight of wands. Like I said, it's coming. This is fast movement, fast communication. What you want is coming in, Aries. All you got to do is just be patient. Sit in your energy. Sit on your throne. Know that what you what you put out, you're going to get back, okay? The will of fortune, the cycles are changing. Cycles are changing. There is an ending coming um, up. Um, Aries, the ending could be of you feeling this way. It could be an ending to you 
feeling burdened by a situation. You're no longer going to feel that anymore. It's coming to an end. Yeah, two of wands. You're moving forward. You're no longer looking in the past. You're no longer holding on to nothing from the past. Like, only thing that you're holding on to is your strength and the experience that you need. Look, the world card. Give me some more messages, please, sir, in regards to my Aries. I see you I see you um having two choices to make in regards to which in, in regards to which way that you want to go, Aries. You necessarily um you you have literally turned your back on the past is what I see. Like at one point in time you were juggling both situations. Like, should I deal with the past or should I just move forward and just say forget the past? But I definitely see you Putting down these burdens and literally turning your back on the past and not worried about the past at all. Like, I, my hold, my focus, the only thing that's living in my mind, rent-free, is my future. We had the chariot. Yeah, I'm moving forward. The chariot is moving. Moving forward. I'm moving forward. I don't have no time to stay stuck, stagnant in this energy no more. It's no longer serving you. The low vibrational energy doesn't do nothing but cause you to be in a mental imprisonment. It causes you to break, uh, be, be down. You... With the Six of Pentacles, you ready to come out, come in from out of the cold, bring a balance to a situation. You ready to move forward. You, you, you're tired of this old situation. You're tired of the lies, the deception, the games. You know, whatever this, whatever this person was doing, I'm going to ask to. Yeah, you ready to give your cup of love and your emotions to somebody who's on your level. You're ready to start over. You're ready to... Move forward with this with this Queen of Cups energy. You're very um yeah you ooh, the Devil card. Mm, we gonna clarify that. Um, you could be coming out of the cold from a twin flame connection, somebody who you was dealing with for a long time. This connection could have been very much so sexual based. We have Pisces energy here with this Queen of Cups energy. You could have been um. Very emotional with this person, very open, very vulnerable. You know, um, mermaids could be significant to you as well. The color green, turquoise, blue, or yellow could be significant to you as well. But there is a need for you to continue to stay in this high vibrational emperor energy. Um, spirit, clarify this 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 devil energy. This star card. So this this toxic person could be trying to attach themselves to you and stay stuck and and close by you because they know that you are a star they know that you are abundant they know that anything that you say that you want you gonna get you pouring whatever something about you is a is a magician and not in a bad way like you play with magic or anything but like you are a a master manifester meaning you get exactly what you want the stars your ancestors, your spirit guides, they all on your side. You got some good luck energy. This person is trying to keep you bound because of your good luck energy. They know what you bring to the table. They know how powerful you are. They know how you can manifest. They know you say you want something, you going to go get it. They know how nurturing you are. They know how strong and loving and abundant you are. For some of you guys, you really like the nature. You really like outside. But, um, give me some more messages, please. Exactly, nine of pinnacles. Um, nine of pinnacles. Very abundant, very nurturing. Some of you guys, um, some of you guys eat very, very healthy. You eat very, very clean. You're very, very abundant. Like very abundant. Um. Let me tell you, you need to be careful, Aries. And I probably don't even need to tell you this because you don't even play that shit. But with this love, with this devil energy, this person is trying to confuse you and make it seem like you guys are lovers when this is really a karmic tie. Okay, this is not a situation that you should continue to stay in. This is a twin flame connection that is very, very toxic. Um and this person has more than one person. It's not just you. This person is keeping you and somebody else tied to them to have control over the both of you guys to orchestrate and do 
to get you guys to do what they want you to do by just love bombing you and making you feel like it's love and it's really not. Something about this person's soul is really, really, really dark. Like, they come off like they have light and they know stuff and everything. And, like, they're very knowledgeable. And they come off controlling, too. They come off a little intimidating at times, too, with their words. And how their body language and demeanor comes off very intimidating. But it's something about this person that they try to contaminate your soul with their darkness. Like, it got on you a little bit, but not too much. Now, what I wanted to warn you about, but really not warn you about, but give you the heads up, just in case you got to beat a bitch ass, okay? Um, This person is going to be trying to cause fights and and fight with you and stuff because you may not want to move forward with them you may be moving forward without them because the ships that are coming in for you are yours they belong to you not nobody else and your ships are coming in this person does not deserve to be a part of your abundance this person has been nothing but a burden to you this person ain't do nothing but weigh you down talk about you stab you in your back um didn't want to smile in your face didn't put you in third party situations have you looking stupid in front of people you actually for some of you guys when i'm picking up is you know this person this other person you know them eight of pentacles there's a need for you to continue to work hard focus on your work focus on your manifestations keep your head down do not worry about this person this person is going to make noise they are when they see that you are just moving you're not talking no more it is all action i'm telling you with this emperor energy it's all boss action all boss shit all boss shit action there is no more talking I, i've done enough talking i've done enough warning you okay so we're gonna get some um we're gonna get some raw cards and see what spirit has to say in regards to that oh before i get some raw cards i do want to pull you some spirit animal oracle cards just because i don't want you to think like you know nothing is wasted like nothing that you went through in this connection whether how long the investment was it wasn't wasted it was something that you and this person both needed to learn and had to learn through each other but this person is not going to let you go easily now that you are coming out of the illusion illusion now that you do know the truth now that you are not blinded now that you see them for who they are now that you want to release this person and put down the burdens because you know you deserve better like, i don't got to continue to hold this and carry this and carry this because i love you this is not love and this is not what love feels like so i'm choosing to put this behind me i'll keep one of these sticks just in case i gotta whoop your ass with it and then yeah i'm gonna keep it moving whether you like it or not this person cannot keep you tied to something that you don't want to be a part of. You have to stand up for yourself, Aries, and literally cut this person off. And you may have to do it in silence and move in silence because this person is a little fucking lonely soon. Okay? I'm just saying. This motherfucker's a little lonely soon. Okay? And you ain't got to say much. You already know You already know what you manifested. A rebirth is assured. New times, new things, everything new is coming. You don't want nothing old anyway. That's the whole purpose of you releasing, you know, this past. Give me some messages, please, for my Aries. Any messages for my Aries, please? Any messages for my Aries? Set healthy boundaries. So, part of moving in silence is there is an... You're, you're going to need to set healthy boundaries around this person. This could be the type of person that wants to come to your job, come to your house, follow you, wait till you get to work to follow you to see where you're going after work. Look, what did I tell you? I've been telling you that this whole time. Nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted, but you do need to set uh, boundaries with this Looney Tune. This, this person is... Yeah. See the bigger picture... And part of seeing the bigger picture is just taking a leap of faith, knowing that you want more. I know I want more. I know I don't want to settle for this. I know this cannot be it for me. What this person is offering me and how weighed down I feel, this cannot be it. So what I'm going to do as my Aries, me, Aries, not me, I'm talking about you. You as an Aries, take a leap of faith. See the bigger picture. Take a leap of faith. Look, listen, if you scared to take a leap of faith, let that be your reason. Is that I see the bigger picture. I know that this is not where God wants me to be. It's something that I needed to learn within this situation. There's a need for you to act as if everything's okay. Okay? Don't let this person know what you're doing. Act as if everything is good. The coast is clear. You move in silence. 
you don't got to let them know nothing. What they they're gonna already know. Okay, you don't gotta explain what they've done, how you feel. You don't gotta explain anything. Nothing. There's a need for you to trust in divine detours. You may be feeling like why, why right now? You may, you may not be prepared or ready, but there's a need for you to trust in the detour and understand that it happened for a reason. Everything happened for a reason. None of this is by Kawinky Day. Okay. So the detour of you not being with this person and you thought that you were, that's a detour. Hang it up. This he ain't the one. Hang it up. Sorry to say, but you know, for some for some of y'all, that is the detour. You 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 can't be with this person. This is not the person, whether you with, was with them for seven years. For some of y'all, it's been a long time that you've been dealing with somebody, but the reason why th this is happening the way it is is because this is not the person for you and the cycle is completing itself. It is time for you to move forward, Aries. So, I'm going to go ahead and get y'all some um, raw cards so we can, like, you know, get a little bit more into detail. So, the answer is no. It's a no for me, though. It's a no for me, though. Then we have love surrounding you. Like I told you, your spirit angels and spirit guides are always surrounding you, always protecting you, always sending you love and light. Even in those times and nights that you felt like you were alone, crying by yourself, you know, feeling burdened, feeling the weight of feeling the weight of all of this on your shoulders. You know, um, you wasn't alone. And I'm sorry to hear this, but for some of you guys. You were in an abusive relationship. We have woman beater out here. And I'm very sorry to hear that. You do need to get away from this person. This person um, caused, caused you to struggle internally. You could have PTSD or anxiety or something. Um, it says, I left because I'm afraid of people opinion about us. Okay. So, you have single. Okay. So, a Pisces could be significant here. Um, Aries, this person may have not done what they were supposed to do for you and showed up the way that they were supposed to show up for you because of other people's opinion about y'all. Like, something about this person was, like, did this person have a mental illness or something? Like, this person just comes off, like, they wanted you only for maybe sex or something. It says, fall in love when you're ready, not when you're lonely. So, Aries, if you are meeting somebody right now, don't, don't, don't fall in love so soon, okay? Don't, okay? Do not fall into lust or temptation. Exactly. Don't fall into lust or temptation. Um, any more messages? Let the past go. Let the past go. Um, this person don't deserve you. This person did not cherish you. This person did not put you on a high pedestal. You guys were opposites. Um, and this person comes off like a womanizer. Like he had a lot of fantasies. This person wanted a lot of recognition. One minute they ready, one minute they not. Now, once you try to leave them, they want to come in and act like they're ready. And you need to tell them no. Okay, they're going to try to come back and ask you, can we try again later? You need to tell them no. All of a sudden, now that you're, you're trying to leave, they look at you like white material. They didn't look at you like that before. They didn't recognize that in you before. All of a sudden, now you're standing in your power, your emperor energy, you're ready to go. They want to give you all of these different fantasies and illusions, like lies. Like, nobody has time for that. You've been, you've been painting, painting this same picture and singing this same song since I met you. It says, I helped you in your time of need. So this person is going to be coming out with all kinds of things and coming from all different kinds of directions in regards to why you should not leave them, why you should stay, why, why we should try again. Like, and this person just don't get it. It's not about that. And I feel like you put in enough time. You put in enough time. It's not about that. Like, yes. What did I say? This person did have it. I said, do this person got a mental illness? And look what came out. Yes. This person do have a mental illness. I think they are in love with you, but I don't know what kind of love that is. It's like toxic love. They want to know, do you still love them? And at this point, no, because you don't even know who this person is anymore. Like, no, I don't still love you. I'm sorry. No, I don't. 
It says, I can read you like a book. Exactly. You can see right through this person, but you still gave this person a benefit of the doubt. You still gave this person a chance. You still try to look out for this person. You still, even though you were still, you knew that this person was lying. You were still trying to get this person a benefit of the doubt. Like, so you still just going to lie like that? So you, so you just still going to lie like that? It says, got me going crazy. They think they're going crazy now because you're moving in silence and you made me a little quiet and your demeanor has changed. You're, something about your demeanor, your stance, your sit, your tone of voice has changed. It says, I see clearly now. And then we have family. Family can be significant in regards to this connection, Aries. Let me get you some more cards. Let's see. Have faith that all will work out. Please do not try to uh, listen to this person's sweet nothings. That's that's part of their finesse. It's part of their uh, manipulation. It's part of a way to get you back in their good graces. They're going to be talking about, I want to cater to you. All of a sudden, now they want to do all of these things after all of the toxic shit that they did to you. All of a sudden, now y'all got a strong connection after y'all. When y'all ain't had no strong connection, we was over there feeling sad when you was crying, when you was burdened. What was the connection then? He couldn't connect and see that you were burdened? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, sir. Goodbye. It says, I love your sense of humor. So, Aries, you probably like so hilarious to this person. They're gonna be missing you, but it's time for them to go. Like, right? this person could wear glasses for someone. It says, Your love is unique, and yes, it is. And they won't get another piece of it, honey. This obstacle is over, honey. Look, they're gonna be we have a strong connection. Um, like they're gonna be trying to like for some of you guys, you are very spiritual. They're gonna be trying to play on your spirituality just to get your like just to get you in your emotions to get you back where they want you. And I promise you they're gonna turn it right back off. As soon as they get you where they want you, they're gonna go back to their old ways. They're only love bombing you and saying all this because they know that you're walking away. It's something about you that's different. It says keep your emotions under strict control. They must not be allowed to cloud your vision. Yes, so don't show your emotions to this person. Don't show anything because you don't want your emotions to cloud your vision, and you don't want to want to be want to give this person, um, give this person like a way to get into your head. I want to build with you. Now you want to build me. This whole time, I've been trying to build with you. This whole time, I've been trying to do something with you. You ain't did nothing. It says your commitment is being tested, and it is time for you to walk away, Aries. This person ain't want nothing but a moment of ecstasy. You done went through all this stuff, all these years with this person for nothing. Where did the car go? Tie me up and choke me. I told you this person wanted a moment of ecstasy. Like, that's all it was. Your sex game could be bomb. Like, you probably know what the hell you're doing. And, yeah, that's what it, that's what it was about. So, grandmother could be significant. Somebody's grandmother. We have Leo. Okay. It says, the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected. This person is going to be a drama king or queen honey there's a need for you to clear your mind because you're going to be you're going to need to be mentally ready for all of this and know that this is just part of the game this is not how he really he or she really feels this is part of the game this is part of how they get you back like no don't go back like no it's all a game it's all a lie they're just trying to get you back where they want you so you won't so you won't roll the hell out enough is enough but how long are you supposed to stay and be burdened like, no, it's time for you to get the hell on up out of my life. So, Aries, that's what I have for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Please do not forget to hit that like button, comment down below. If you have, if you have not already, subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. Mwah.